Chapter 5 Network in Graph Theory 5.1 Network. In this lesson, you are going to learn about directed graph. So, first, what is the difference between directed graph and undirected graph? Okay, so directed and undirected. So, undirected means you doesn't have a direction. It means this is a graph you learn uh, in the lessons in the lessons before, right? So, today you will learn about directed graph which have direction. Okay, directed has direction. Undirected, un mean not, no direction. Okay, so this directed you have edges, right? You the edges have a direction. So in this case, from uh, vertex A to vertex D. So this is a direction. This is also direction. Okay. And then what are initial vertex and terminal vertex? Okay, so here are the example. So the the, the edges we given are given names. For example, this uh, this edge is called E1 and then this edge is called E2. Okay, so what are the initial vertex? Okay, so let's see the first vertex. Okay, the ver uh, first edge, sorry. First edge for vertex A and vertex D. Okay, so the E1 is called AD, right? From A going to D. So in this case, A is called the initial vertex because starting from A and then going to D so D you call it terminal vertex okay so for the second edge okay for this edge for H A B uh, E5 okay E5 so A is called the initial vertex and then B is called the terminal vertex so for H B A, so B is called the initial vertex, and then A is called the terminal vertex. Okay, so for H A A, so A is called the initial vertex, and then going to A, so A is also the terminal vertex. So, uh, for this one, starting is called initial and then the end is called the terminal so how to determine the degree of a directed graph okay so for vertex a degree in and degree out and also the total degree for a okay so you need to find how to find this Okay, so for vertex A, let's see the vertex A in. Okay, so how many in? This is going in, right? But this is out, this is out. So we do not count the edges which uh, the edges which which is going out. We are called counting for the in one and then for loop one is out, one is in. Okay, so for D in degree in 1 and 2 okay so this will be 2 so for D out okay so this one is out this one also out and then for loop 1 is out right so 1 2 3 so D out is 3 so for degree a is D in plus D out which means 2 plus 3 is the answer is 5 okay if you count is 1 2 3 4 5 right the degree is 5 okay so the same thing for vertex B okay so let's see vertex B yeah? D in for B so this one is in, this one also in, so we have 2 in, 2 D in, how about D out? 
we have one out so the out is one and then the uh, degree for vertex B is 2 plus 1 is 3 so we can check is it 3 1 2 3 okay so it's a 3 and for vertex C okay, vertex C 1 in 1 out okay you see 1 in 1 out so 1 in 1 out total is 2 vertex D also 1 in 1 out Okay, so 1, 1, so 1 plus 1 is 2. The sum of degrees, okay, you take this value. The degree for A, degree for B, degree for C, and then degree for D. Okay, you add them together. So degree for A is 5 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2. So answer is 12, okay? So that's the lesson for today. That's how, that's the definition of directed graph and how you determine the um, degrees. So that's the lesson for today. So thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and see you in the next lesson.